Good morning, AC. I'm Mason Moore, and it's Monday, October 24th. And for those in the middle school, that means day 1A. Today, we've chosen a new athlete of the week. But before we introduce you to him, let's get to all today's announcements. First, there will be a meeting today for anyone interested in junior high wrestling at 2.30 in room 208. On Tuesday, November 1st, there will be a free family STEM, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, that will help you showcase community businesses, careers, and endeavors that use STEM skills and knowledge. There are hands-on activities for all students in grades pre-K through grade 12. It will take place from 6 to 8 p.m., and you can even come for dinner at 5.30 at a cost of just $3. Hot dogs, hamburgers, and veggies and chips will be available. Any junior who still did not turn in a candle fundraising order form and still wishes to do so, you have until tomorrow morning to see Mr. Clements to place that order. All orders will be made tomorrow afternoon. This is a great opportunity for all students to pay off their class dues. On Friday, the mini thon Committee will be hosting a Halloween dance for middle school students only from 7 to 9 p.m. in the cafeteria. Admission is $5 with all proceeds going to the four diamonds. Committee members will be judging the costumes in various categories with prizes going to the best overall costumes. Tomorrow there will be a high school mini-thon meeting before school at 7.15 in Mrs. Moan's room or after school in Mr. Clement's room. This is a note from the Media Center. Please take a minute today to log into your library account on the library homepage to check for book due dates. Tomorrow at 11 a.m., a representative from Penn State University will be visiting the guidance office. Interested students, please stop by the guidance office for a pass. Today at 10.30 a.m., a representative from Delaware Valley University will be visiting the guidance office. Interested students, please stop by the guidance office for a pass. In sports-related news, boys' basketball open gyms are held on Mondays and Wednesdays from 6.30 to 8 p.m. and Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. in the high school gym. All boys in grades 7 through 12 are welcome to attend. Additionally, any boy in grades 7 through 12 interested in playing basketball this year should plan to attend an organizational meeting on November 1st after school in the cafeteria. Today's lunch will feature a chili cheese bowl with brown rice and steamed broccoli. But now, let's turn to Hunter Kelly, who will introduce us, introduce us to the Athlete of the Week. This week, it's Isaac Burris. Six foot eight, 235 pounds, senior Isaac Burris has played football for 12 years. He started in youth league and now is in high school. He plays offensive line and defensive end for our high school football team. Isaac currently has 65 tackles for his senior year. Isaac would like to further his college career and play football. Uh, you've been LL Section 3 Lineman of the Week twice now. How do you feel about that? It's a great accomplishment of mine. We still have two more weeks to go. Hopefully I'll get it another time before the season's over. Wish Isaac the best of luck as he finishes out his senior season. And that covers your news and announcements for today. For ACDN TV, I'm Mason Moore. Have a great week, AC.